Hello everyone. This is a question asked in GATE 2020 Civil Engineering Set 2. For the year 2019, which of the previous year's calendar can be used? Now, in order to solve this question, let's have a look at some useful information. So, the first thing is nothing but about the leap year, which is basically a year which has 366 days and it repeats itself after every 4 years. Also, to check if a particular year is a leap year, we divide that year by 4. If it's fully divisible by 4 then it's a leap year. However, century years like 700, 1900 or 2000 needs to be divided by 400 to check whether they are leap years or not. For instance, 1900 is divisible by 4. But 1900 is not divisible by 400. That means that it's not a leap year. Also, the number of odd days in a non-leap year is 1 since If I divide the number of days in a week by the total number of days in a year, I get 1 as the remainder which would turn out to be the odd day for that particular year. Also, the number of odd days in a leap year would be 2 because it has one extra day. Now, let's use this concept and try to solve the problem. So, the idea behind this problem is that if I can determine that particular year starting from which till 2019 the sum of the odd days turns out to be exactly divisible by 7 then that particular year's calendar can be used as the calendar for the year 2019 so let's try to use this idea and solve the problem so let's start the year from 2011 now the number of odd days in this year would be 1 since this is a non leap year as it is not divisible by 4 Also, if I take the next year which is 2012, then the number of odd days in this particular year would be 2 since this is a leap year as it is exactly divisible by 4, which also means that the next leap year I would be getting would be 2016 since a leap year repeats itself after every 4 years and the corresponding years in between would have the number of odd days as 1. Now, for the year 2017 I would have the number of odd days as 1 and for the year 2018 I would have the number of odd days as 1 now the next year would be the year for which I have to determine the calendar for and now if I sum all the odd days starting from 2011 till 2018 then the number I would be getting would be 10 which is not divisible by 7 also if I subtract 3 from this number then that number would be exactly divisible by 7 which also means that If I select my year starting from 2013 till 2018 then the number of odd days of the years above that would automatically be subtracted and the sum of odd days from 2013 till 2018 would be 7 which is exactly divisible by 7 so the calendar of 2013 can be used as the calendar for the year 2019 since the number of odd days are exactly divisible by 7 which means that option c is the right answer thank you